Good morning, it is another day of working in the shop. We are back working on the Bombi. If you remember last time, Team Bravo built the bumper, Team Alpha built the dash, but Team Bravo won the milkshake contest. It was delicious. I don't think we're gonna be doing a challenge today, but we are gonna be working on the Bombi, and that means all of us win. <laughs> Okay, we've got multiple little things to work on this. We've got to mount the windshield wiper up top. We've got to plug this hole. There's other holes on the cab that we're gonna have plugged. We've got to do the fuel filler neck. There's just some things. The reason we have to move this is because of the way the dash is working out. Put it on top. I think it's cooler up there anyway. Plus it gives us a place to hang our Christmas tree air freshener. Tom cut this out with the Arc Droid. We're gonna be filling this hole up. This is the old fuel filler neck. So the fuel tank is like right there under the seats down low. That's where Bombardier put it. If you're French, for everybody else, Bombardier put it down there. The problem that caused, this is all wrong. This is all custom. This is not, this is homemade. I didn't do it, I bought it this way. But you would put fuel in here and there's this big fuel filler neck that's just like by your knees. It would literally poke your knees. <laughs> Old filler neck new filler neck now i know i know you caught that there is no way to put fuel in here because it's a solid chunk of steel we're going to be cutting that out all right here we go jake i need these chairs i get in trouble for calling these chairs these are seats but you sit in them just like a chair so you can understand the confusion. So I need these chairs taken out and put in one of the Connex boxes for safekeeping. Okay, Caitlin, I would like you to get the 3 8 impact. Oh, let me, t let me tell you something. Do you know what we, say, what we mean when we say 3 8 and half inch? No. Okay, what we're referring to, well, both of these. We're gonna make this an object lesson. This is a 3 8 drive. See how that wrench fits on there? Yeah. That's a half inch. Right there. Oh. So we need a 3 8 impact with a half inch socket. Oh, now I'm gonna get confused. <laughs> okay, let's take let's take this out of here. That is lightweight. It's not a chair, Colby. It's a seat. So jump out of there, bring that, take this, and then take that panel off. So Tom, I don't think this angle is so extreme. I don't even think we need to fix it. Just put it on and go for it? Yeah, I think this, that's not that much of an angle. So I'm gonna figure out exactly how long this needs to be. Okay, I'll get the bead roller set up. Okay. Is that coming up through there? It's not that bad. That will easily handle the heat that's right there. It's not too close to the exhaust. No, and we can put a shield on it if we need to. Oh, speaking of the exhaust, we've got a lot of comments about how we could just turn these around and then shoot them straight back. And that would be great if we were in closed course racing, but we need mufflers on this. So it's not actually not a very big deal just to put a U-bend here, put a muffler right here and then send it out. It'll be sound so good. You could do HP twos, just like the more air. That's what we got, and it's gonna have an H pipe. It's gonna sound very similar to the more. You're gonna go over the top yeah. with the H pipe. Yeah, I think right there. You're just not gonna have very much muffler or very much pipe after Afterwards. the muffler. So like a loud more bear. More like awesome more bear. Okay, Caitlin, I wanna show you how to use a new saw. So there's something I think that happens a lot in tools. It definitely happens with cutoff saws. The more awesome the saws become, the more chance you have of damaging them. But if you don't damage them, they'll last way longer. So here's this. All the rest of your instruction will be with those on your ears. So a traditional cutoff saw, they use an abrasive blade that just literally melts its way through the metal. This one cuts its way through, and if you just slam it down on the metal, it'll break the teeth off of it. And they never grow back, that's the thing about them. So if you use it right, it's amazing. If you use it wrong, it's, a it's piece of dead junk. really fast. Yeah, they're like, they're, I hate these this saws. This saw doesn't even garbage. But I'm gonna cut this, and then I'm gonna let you cut a thing. Now, if, if I was to cut this with an abrasive blade, this would be too hot for me to hold right now. But he would hold it anyway. Y yeah. <laughs> Tom is freaking on today. <laughs> Can I show you another way to ruin the blade? 
lathe on these. So the clamp on this one is super important. If you don't clamp it down hard, that part will shift and move. And as soon as it does that, it'll wipe out teeth. So there's lots of ways to ruin this saw. And there's only a couple ways not to. Okay. But you did great. Well, now that you've been fully trained, <laughs> so the first thing we do, so you see how that's all deburred? Go give that to Tom and he'll show you what to do next. Okay. All right, put the tube right in there. Okay. Like, and then we're gonna screw down on this and just rotate it with me as we go here. So what I'm doing is I'm increasing pressure. Forcing Tom to increase pressure. Your job is simply to keep it in line. And keep it kind of pushed in or it'll spiral out. Look at that. Dang, that's a good looking one. In a minute, I'll tell you the sad story of the filler pipe. I am looking for three quarter inch fuel hose. I don't think we have any that big, but we're gonna go through all the bins and make sure. A lot of these are like coolant hose, so they're not good for fuel. This is all coolant stuff, which is fun, but not gonna work. I am seeing something here. Look at that. Let's see what it says on it. Heater hose, yeah. This will help us line up and see how long we need, but ultimately it'll break down and we'll leak gas everywhere. Jake, I'm sending you on a quest. This I need that thread and I need a barb fitting that fits in there. Okay. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to hook this to a hose by threading that fitting in there. Okay. All right, so Matt sent me on a quest. I'm gonna go try to find a little barb fitting. This is just kind of a reference. I'm gonna see where I can find them. I don't know what store to go to. So I'm gonna go shop around town, see if we can get it. Hmm. Five hours later. Hey. hey. That'll work. I got the part and I got some popcorn. Back to the shop. So we've got to mount this in here and we've kind of imagined what that part needs to look like. So we need to go draw that up and then we can cut it out on the arc droid. And Kaylin is gonna help me do that. I just opened up the part that I drew yesterday for our dash. This part was a loser part actually too. I, I lost, I had to buy everybody milkshakes cause that piece wasn't good enough for the win. Anyway, hopefully this one's a winner. Fit in there, you're gonna burn yourself. She's good at that. That is beautiful. Woody does. All right, what you got? I got popcorn and a part. That looks like the right part. This, this is a very musical piece. Look at that. I can do this, and I'm also getting this. I'm liking this thing. Sure, are, do you need this? I need something else in it. I need the thing to go. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm like it. Oh, you need this? Oh, I'm like it. Oh, you need this? Okay, editors, make a song out of all those sounds. Good luck. I think we're going to want to be like right there. I think. Going in through. Oh, yeah, it got a mark. Did I get it? Mm -hmm. Here, you do this for me. Okay. What do I do with it? Got to go over to Sally. We're drilling holes. Sally is an old friend of mine. Oh. This right here, you just. Let's put that plate in and we'll, we'll clamp it in. I'm just gonna get really close before I touch down because as soon as you get a little pocket, it wants to move back to that spot. Okay. Did okay. you let Caitlin in on our little game we've been playing with her? This is a game? Yeah. Half the things we've been telling you today are true, but half of them are false. <laughs> you told her. I know, I just felt bad. Okay, right, I'm gonna have you fill all the unwanted holes on the cab, starting with this one. Okay, my dad has put me in charge of filling all the unwanted holes on this, and I'm gonna start with this one. Well, thing. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> let's keep working on this. I'm not in a musical mood today. I'm always in a musical mood. That is a lie. You caught me in a lie. So let me tell you what's going on. I don't know if any of this made it in the video, but between Tom and Caitlin, they have not stopped doing this for about an hour. And I'm about sick of it. I'm ready to weld this on and bolt this on. You think that'll ah. stop them? I hope so. <laughs> if you weld on it, it'll ruin all its acoustic abilities. It's so much potential. I uh, know. Oh yeah, it's got two thumbs. It's got three. Oh, there's more. Block this one. Oh, it is. It's a oh. musical instrument. I've just been schooled. Watch this. <laughs> Was that you or it making the noise? Was that a note? I don't know. 
What was that? Oh, there's no ground. Hold up. Well, look at that. It's almost quitting time. Okay, we'll see you like this. Oh, wait. Everyone at the we same We don't need time. to do this. See you like... Good morning, it is another day of working in the shop. We are working on the Bombi. We are finishing up some finishing touches. The interesting thing is we're finishing up some finishing touches. That's what you do with finishing touches. Yeah, so anyway, we are just finishing a couple things so that we can get the Bombi to, to Robbie's. Something going on over here. We're assembling. Oh, looks like a gear lube pump. Yes, sir. All right, they're assembling a gear lube pump so we don't have to do it with the squeeze bottles anymore. Yeah, no more squeezing around here. All right, so a couple things that we're working on. Let's see this right here. You got this one yeah, last... Yeah, we have a little hole right here. We're just welding a little patch panel. Okay, so Tom's gonna weld that up. You can see under here, this is how you change the oil. It's the oil filter. There's the oil drain plug. <laughs> we're gonna need a cover on that to for a couple reasons. One of them is, well, there's just reasons. I'm gonna draw that up and then Tom is gonna arc droid. All right, because the oil pan is so low in the chassis, chassis, chassis we have to put a little bit of a dip in this access panel. And we're gonna do it as easy as possible, like in the most caveman way that I can think of. This is some precision work Matt is doing over here. Don't let him fool you. I have some safety glasses. Caitlin's not here to make me wear safety glasses, but her influence still is because I just put them on. Now Tom's got his handle thing. How's that looking? Pretty good. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see if it fits. Oh. So Red's got a real challenge here because there's a ton of welding and this is thin, so it's gonna warp. What I would do is put a lot more tacks everywhere and then do that thing where you weld like six yeah. dots, six dots, six dots. Okay. It's a good starting thing. All right, I got this done with very minimal warping. It's got a little bit. Don't look at me. Well, I'm gonna put it on. Go warp it in the sink. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad we came over here. Look what I discovered. It's a whole box of crumble cookies. What? This is awesome. Uh -huh. Speaking of cookies, this looks like a cookie sheet to me. Okay, let's go install this. I'm gonna go put this on. Is that? I do a lot of the parts ordering for these project builds that we do, and sometimes it goes great, and sometimes I just struggle. So if you've ever ordered parts for a big project like this, you know that the devil is in the details. And this is one that's getting me today. I ordered this filler neck for our gas tank. It was supposed to come with a gas cap to fit. It didn't fit. So I ordered another one that was supposed to fit, and it didn't fit. I'm gonna head over to the store right now, try to find one so we can get this together today. See how we do. Oh yeah, first try. Back to the shop. We are good to go. That's pretty close to where it needed to be. It definitely was higher. Rhett was right, it was too high. I think high is good. There's a small chance when everybody goes home, I'm gonna cut that off and raise it about a half inch. So there is some OCD in here, huh? We called our friends over at Barnes Four Wheel Drive and they've got lots of different bracket styles that work with these brake calipers, which I love because they're on everything we have. And they're gonna go on the Bombi, they're gonna help it stop. So and if you're building a Bombi, you can get some brackets just like these. Or if you have a Jeep project, a rock crawler off-road vehicle, Toyota, Chevy, Nissan. Ford, Audi. Yeah, but you're gonna have to have a buddy that welds. Or you're gonna have to learn how to do it yourself, which is not that hard. If you can put cheese whiz on a cracker, you can weld. So these are the stopping and steering feature on this rig. And with the tracks here, it's gonna kind of be hard to see. I'm gonna try to put this on here without ripping my thumbnail off. That's where these go, sort of like that. Woo! 
good thing they were out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> that was that, no joke. That's exactly where it needs to go. Should we just tack it right now? Is that in the right spot? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay. So what we've got to do now, so we're going to strip this clear down till nothing, like there's nothing else to take off from it. And it's going to be getting sandblasted and then powder coated. And we're just going to do it a semi-gloss black. But we're going to need things to hook wire to and brake lines to. And we're not running all the wires in the brake lines right now. It's kind of simple. And I don't think, just don't think it's going to take that much to do. Have you ever seen those videos of Arctic foxes when they're like, looking for like a mouse or whatever in the snow and then like dive in. That's yes. what Peanut does. She'll like run around, pounce and dive into the snow. Peanut, you're in the way. Yeah, you're in the way. You're in the way in the most adorable way. Yes, you are. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so. She's back. She's back already. All right. My dad wants me to weld these tabs all over on the Bombi, so that's what I'm gonna do. Matt just sent me on another mission. I'm heading over to Flog right now. He had some parts made for him, so we're gonna go see what he has and uh, bring him back to the shop. All right, got it all loaded up, back to the shop. All right, let's look at these. It's like a real a real honeycomb where some of them are full for no reason. <laughs> we got some, uh, some honeybee larva cells in here. I don't know why, but we're gonna keep oh. them. All right. I like it. Makes it more authentic. Yeah. Sometimes I surprise myself. I think it goes. Flip it upside down. I think it goes this way. Oh, you're right. Okay, so I'm gonna do the shortest one. See where it fits. Okay, the shortest one doesn't fit. The shortest one is too long. Perfect. Okay, yeah, we'll trim that. This is the next shortest Try one. Try this right here. That fit? No, it doesn't. I need longer. Perfect. This one goes right here. Okay, that, so, one. that one's gonna need a little work. Okay, we got these all ground and fit, so they're all in their place. Now we're just tacking them in, and then we'll weld them up for good. All right, I got this all done now. Good morning, it is another day of working in a shop. We're working on the Bombi. I think we're at the point now to take this completely down and get it up to Robbie's. coming out and the steering at the same time. Oh, these. Honestly, I think I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. No problem. It looks like there's no cotter pin in these yet. So these mm -hmm. should just back off and then that'll come out with all the bearings inside of it. All right. This is everything you need if you want to build a Bombi all right here. Just take a screenshot of this and you'll be golden. So we tacked these brake brackets on the other day, but we couldn't weld them with all the stuff in the way, but now I can get to them and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, these are all welded up. They should provide years of good braking and steering. Look at those. That's cute. That is very, very, very cute. This is coming right along. Man, we're gonna take the cab off. 
and the engine out of it, it's going to look really ridiculous. Well, looks like we got a lot done today. We'll see you tomorrow. And here is tomorrow. Look at this smiling crew. So yesterday, we left ourselves a mess that needs to be cleaned up. We can't even walk in here without walking on Bombi parts. So that's the first order of business, to get some of the stuff where it goes and the rest of it also where it goes. Just, just start leaning this metal up against this. That goes to Robbie. This also goes to Robbie. We've got a thing we've got to go do. We'll be right back. It's going to take the whole crew. We're going to stop, but, but it's going to be like this for you. We're back from lunch and from a recovery. This whole day is pretty much shot, but we're going to finish this job right here. Jake's still out on said job, so it's just me and Caitlin, but we've recruited Colin and Rhett. Start bringing me this pile plus those tires. Oh yeah, it'll do three. I'll just move these to here. This is a great illustration of why we are building these extra bays over here because Colin needs to work on the exhaust system on his truck tomorrow, it's Saturday. And that means we have to get this bay ready to go. So we're staying late on a Friday afternoon instead of going out and doing Friday night things. So that's how the bays will help because Colin would be like, can I use this bay? I'll say, no, use that perfectly good bay over there. And then he'll just do that. I like that idea. So it's been neutered again, unfortunately. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> when we pull the cab off, we'll just push this out with no big <laughs> We got some stuff done. There's a little bit more to do, but that's next week. Thank Thanks. you so much for hanging out with us today. Thanks for watching. Tom, Caitlin, Matt, and the crew working in the shop. That's all we do every day with Rhett on the welder. I don't know what rhymes with welder. I I painted myself into a corner.